So this is winging it on skis on Crow's Nest Lake in February of 2024. It's been a funky winter on the lake this year. Uh, it's been cold, it's been warm, we've had rain. Um, so today's conditions were such that my ice boat was digging in, breaking through a small crust of ice. There was snow, there was water, there was ice underneath. Um, the skates on the ice boat were digging in and I really was struggling. So I strapped on the downhill skis and I gotta say, the downhill skis were the ticket for this particular day and these particular conditions. It rode up over the snow, it could go through the water. If there was a thin veneer of ice, it would stay on top. And yet there was sections where there was bare ice, but it was warm. It was, you know, five or six degrees Celsius. And the ski edges, the steel edges on the skis could bite in. I wasn't skidding out. I wasn't spinning out. I had top speeds of just under 30 kilometers an hour um, at the fastest. Most of the time was probably around 15 to 20, um, but just had a great day out. You can see the sun's shining, and what a beautiful place this is. Um, on, on a perfect day in February, um, the ice itself underneath the snow and the water is about a foot and a half thick, so it's very safe. Nevertheless, um, I am wearing, you know, a life jacket uh, just in case. I do have my ice daggers. You can see them hanging off my life jacket there. In the event that, you know, something does happen and I bust through, I do have the provisions for self-rescue with the ice picks, you know, and the life jacket. The life jacket doubles as some body armor. Um, you can see I'm also wearing a helmet. I'm wearing elbow pads. I'm wearing knee and shin pads as well as hockey pants. Uh, I did have uh, three crashes today. Nothing, you know, there was nothing untoward about it. Um, the hockey pants made a big difference, especially uh, for my 18-month-old new hip. I uh, had a hip replacement 18 months ago, so I tend to be a little more conservative with the... Uh, um, the sports where I can crash and wear the protection. You can see here the skis going through the slush, going through the water, and yet I'm still biting here. Um, there you go, there's a bunch of water. You can, you know, the cameras actually was submerged there for a second. Um, and surprising, you know, how little friction there was. Um, I really didn't need a lot of wind to get going. And in the gusts, as I was saying, I had speeds close to 30 kilometers an hour. And I wasn't trying to go fast. I'm not a real great downhill skier, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm not super confident on the skis. Confident enough for, this, for these conditions and, and doing this. I was doing jibes, so here's a, here's a jibe. I uh, hadn't, you know, just turning downwind and flipping the, the wing around. Um, I mean, I was out there for probably two and a half or three hours and I probably had 60 reaches. Um, I was, I think I was starting to get a little tired at the end and you'll see here shortly that I did, I did, I do have a crash uh, that's coming up, but um, I was unhurt and um, and had a smile on my face at the end. Um, here we are, here's where I just catch an edge, lose my balance and, and uh, you know, it's all over in, in a second there. But uh, as I said, I was unhurt. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more. We'll see you next time. And whatever you're doing out there, respect the wrist and have fun.